Welcome everyone, this is Brother Carl Tester and we are now at the time of the blowing of the fifth trumpet, locusts ascending from the pit among other things. Now I am amazed at the prophecy and all that we have seen in its fulfilment so far and chapter 9 continues in this vein. The details as they are unpacked and properly explained are truly amazing and I do especially like talking to people about this chapter as it's a real jaw-dropper. Everything fits in so perfectly. This chapter is also unique because the two trumpets that are blown here covered an, an extended period of time and additionally they are marked out by containing specific time measurements which are not found in any of the other seals, trumpets and vials. So buckle your seatbelt and hang on for the ride, it's going to be worthwhile. To summarise things thus far, you will recall that we have been through the seven seals already. The first six of these were in Revelation chapter 6, and from there we moved to the sealing of the 144,000 in chapter 7, which was preparatory for the events described in chapter 8 and beyond. In chapter 8, the seventh seal was loosed, and this gave way to the blowing of the seven trumpets. Of the seven trumpets, the first four of these form their own distinct group in Revelation chapter 8, and they deal with the time from the death of Theodosius I and the division of the empire between east and west, and follow this period to the eclipse of the sun, moon and stars of the Western Roman Empire in 476 AD. Now in Revelation chapter 9, we come to the blowing of the fifth and sixth trumpets, which are also known as the first and second woe trumpets. Our attention is now drawn from the west to the Eastern Roman Empire, and in so doing, we're going to be dealing with one of the hottest topics in the Western world today, and that is Islam. As we know, the first four trumpets have dealt with the fall of the Western Roman Empire. As we are going to see, trumpets five and six deal with the fall of the Eastern Roman Empire. In this slide, you can start to get a real feel for the period of time covering all of these things. The six seals run from 100 to 313 AD, and then during the century that followed, pagan Rome was overthrown and replaced with Christianity, which we know and realize, of course, was a corrupted apostate form of Christianity. Following this, the first four trumpets were blown, taking us, taking us from 395 to 476 AD, and with that came the end of the Western Roman Empire. With the West out of the way, we come to the fifth and sixth trumpets, and that takes us to the Eastern Roman Empire, which, like the West, is deeply steeped in corrupt and apostate Christianity, and to judge this, God raises up the Islamic woe to destroy this Eastern Kingdom. You can see here that the period covered by the fifth and sixth trumpets is enormous at well over a thousand years, and this is part of what makes these two trumpets unique. Now, this whole period represents one of the darkest period, darkest periods rather in world history. It marks the long time of the rise and dominance of the papacy in the West as well as Islam in the East. Both of these are corruptions of the word of God and both also sprang up at about the same time. The fact that both the fifth and sixth trumpets have time periods assigned within them may lead us to understand the wisdom of God in doing so. Since these two trumpets cover a much longer period of time than most of the other visions contained within this prophecy, God marked them out with specific time measurements so that those who would come later, people like us, and the men of God in whose shoes we walk, would be, would be able to ascertain the meaning of the prophecy with much greater certainty and accuracy. And this is in harmony with having a more sure word of prophecy. Here we see a close-up of the timeline in relation to the fifth and sixth trumpets, being the first and second woe trumpets. As you can see, the entire period of the fifth and sixth trumpets covers in excess of 1200 years. Notwithstanding, the fifth trumpet, when it's blown, its period of most intense activity is only 150 years, being between 612 and 762 AD, and we're going to look at this shortly. 
As the effect of the fifth trumpet wanes, the sixth trumpet is blown, and its most intense activity is just over 391 years, from 1062 to 1453 AD. And at that point, we're going to see a little bit later that the Eastern Roman Empire comes to an end and it passes away from the scene. The effect of the sixth trumpet continues, however, the Eastern Roman or Byzantine Empire is now gone. Under the sixth trumpet, there is also a secondary vision concerning a little book open, and that is found in Revelation chapters 10 and 11. And this subvision or this other vision contained here is in fact directly related to the sixth trumpet. We're going to see much later that the fall of the Eastern Roman Empire was inextricably linked with the European Reformation and the little book open, the open Bible. So there's a lot of amazing and exciting ground to cover yet. As we shall see, the fifth trumpet contains a vision of locust-like creatures arising from the bottomless pit. It contains a specific prophetic period, the ending of which is marked out by the first yellow dotted line shown. The sixth trumpet contains two visions. The first vision is similar in some respects to the fifth trumpet vision, and it also contains a symbolic army of horsemen. The major period of its operation concludes with the second yellow dotted line as shown, and near to this point in time, the second vision begins with a mighty angel coming down and a little book open. Both of these visions contain specific prophetic periods, which I will explain when I get there. The sixth trumpet comes to its actual end much later, and this, in fact, is at the end of World War I, and I'm going to cover this off when I get to Revelation chapter 16, God willing. As we shall see, the fifth trumpet represents the rise of Islam amongst the Arabs and the resulting Saracen Empire, and then closely connected to this is the sixth trumpet, which relates to the Turkish Ottoman Islamic Empire, which succeeded it. As we shall see, the fifth and sixth trumpet visions are far more detailed and extended than the earlier trumpets, and this seems to be reflected in their much longer duration in history. In addition, both these trumpets affected not only nominal Christianity, but they also touched upon the descendants of the house of Israel found in the West, and also the land of Israel and Jerusalem itself, which they occupied for about 1200 years. It is this major interaction of Rome and Islam, Islam I should say, with the church and the descendants of the house of Israel, which is the reason they are included in this grand pro prophecy concerning the kingdoms of men, which is to be ultimately replaced by the kingdom of God on earth. Amen. And with that introduction out of the way, I'm going to end here and start with the details of the fifth trumpet in the next part. See you there.